It is Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. We're going to feed some food scraps to the sulfur fly larva. Come along. We've got a couple different age groups here. Uh, so I moved all the sulfur fly larva into this grow tent. Our project in here is done, and so now I'm going to use this space uh, for the sulfur fly larva. And in these older trays, uh, they're nice and dry at this point, so I need to get them some more moisture, keep them growing a little bit until Wednesday when these guys are going to ship out. So I'm just going to add some pieces in here. You can see they've they've pretty much eaten through everything that was in here. We got peels and the, the banana peels, those things that they don't really seem to enjoy. And I'm going to take that, like this is the pineapple peel. They'll eat all of that and then the peel is still going to be there. But that's all right. And we'll give them some of those, spread that out a little bit in the tray. Here's a watermelon rind. I bet they're going to be on the opposite side of that. Look at that, they've eaten that thing pretty clean. That's awesome. So we'll put some pineapple in there, getting down to some strawberries that we had go bad. They were bad in the package when we got them. We should have checked a little bit harder probably. But you can see this stuff's really dry. So these guys need a drink, need something to eat. And I'll gobble this stuff up. It should be gone by this afternoon or this evening. Put some of those in there. These strawberries I'm not worried about breaking apart. They'll be able to get into those strawberries and eat them. These bananas on the other hand, I'm gonna break those open. And we'll take a look at them later. What's going to happen is they won't go after this skin. They don't like to eat that. What they'll do is they'll they'll go in through that entrance, and I'm actually going to break this in half so I can distribute it across the across the tray here. So they'll get in there and just go crazy, and we'll leave that like that. They'll go in the ends and just hollow that thing out. It's pretty impressive. Put a couple of these guys in there. All right. I'm going to place this back into this black tub. That black tub is down there to catch any escapees that might climb out. If it gets a little too moist, a little too humid in here, uh, it does result in these guys being able to climb out. And I've got a couple extra, so I'm going to put those in there. All right, so now we're going to look at the younger ones. You can see these guys are much smaller. And there's still a lot of moisture in these trays. They look nice, nice and wet. See those guys moving around there, nice and wet. So they don't need too much. I'm probably going to let these guys eat a little more before I put anything else in here. Ooh, these guys are hot too. Super, super hot. The larvae get much hotter when they're younger. Uh, based on what I'm reading and then what I'm what I'm also just observing and feeling in these trays is the bottom of these are just hot Yeah, so these guys all still have some good moisture in them. So I'm not going to add more I had to put some wheat bran you can see it around the edges there I had to put that in to absorb some of the moisture I put in way too much at the beginning and closed them up and they just got Way too much in there I've got one more container and what this is, you can see it's a, a lot of frass, and it's got some watermelon rinds in there. And what this is, is from uh, sifting and harvesting. Let's just get a closer look at that one. So what I'm finding is that the frass from these guys is bigger than mealworm frass. Uh, the, the pellets are bigger. And so whenever I sift, I'm still having some of the smaller soldier fly larvae make it through. And there's these little guys that, that wind up in there. And so what I've decided to do is I'm going to put them in a container and just feed them out. Give them some moisture sources like this. They'll eat this here, but they're not going to go after this. So I'm not going to put that in because what I found is they'll, they'll get into the uh, top part of the pineapple and then they become unsalvageable because they just get stuck. So I'm gonna put a few peels in there. I wanna be able to kind of monitor this a little bit, not put too much in there. 
But what'll happen is they'll start eating it, and it'll be like this watermelon rind. So if I pick this up, you'll be able to see they're in there working through that, doing some eating. And what they'll do is they'll find these sources of moisture. Once these lights are off, they'll emerge back up and just go crazy eating this stuff up. So I think everything's fed and good now. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to just going to put this into the fridge here in the farm uh, to keep it. Because uh, there's a few more things here I want to want to use. Definitely that banana. Uh, I'll put this in the compost pile, and then let these guys eat and check them uh, tomorrow. Uh, I moved the all the soldier fly into this grow tent. Uh, I'm also going to try reproducing, uh, letting the the uh, larva hatch out into the flying adults. Build a small net uh, contained system, and uh, see how that goes. So, any questions? Let me know.